Ryan, I've got a story to tell you. About 30 days ago, I landed in New York. And I don't really have many expectations. I just like to walk around and see what's going on, you know? I was with someone, you know, we were looking around, having a laugh. We met a lot of people. There was a particular person that I'm going to talk about. And we were in Bryant Park. And there's lots of these little stores, people selling all sorts of stuff. And we bumped into an, a lady who's basically an artist, okay? But as I was there, there was a man who actually pulled us into this conversation. Bro, this guy had aura, bro. And I know you're going to resonate with that word because it's a Gen Z kind of word. He had like level 100 aura. And this guy was standing there pulling people into this conversation. Let me set the story. We walked past this little stall. This old man said, hey... Guys, you've got to check this out. I've got a great eye for artists and you've got to come check this out. These kind of people don't come around often. Bloody, like he just kept going off like they're connecting people. And it was actually quite mesmerizing to um, experience because, you know, you just start talking like, oh, wow, what's going on, you know? And I'm kind of an extroverted person. So I start talking to him, brought us into the conversation. He just made it like a safe area, you know, an area of comfort. And people will go into these areas because you feel like you're accepted there. And we start talking, you know, I'm talking to this guy for about half an hour, 45 minutes, bringing other people into the conversation. And there's people walking past. We're talking about, oh, like business sort of things. He's going, oh, hey, you got to come check this lady out. Like he's using the same pitch, sort of circle forming around us. And we're talking to all these random people. And I'm thinking, right, this guy's doing this. Let me have a go at trying bringing someone in. And honestly, like I kind of flopped. I wasn't that good at it. Um, I've done sales before, but I'm no beast at sales. But this guy, like, he has years and years and years of experience of simply connecting people. Like, that was his thing. He would talk to a stranger as if he knew them for 10 years, as if he knew them as a brother or a sister. Before I met this guy during the day, I was kind of on this kind of level, okay? And he brought me up to, like, a here, okay? Just showing life is just pouring out of him just through conversation. The magic of words, of language, you know? I'm also, when I speak, I do a lot of, uh, um, like, you know these kind of words and um, just did it just then. It happens all the time. I have to remove this. Otherwise, you're gonna not get that that kind of magical aura that everyone is like, people are looking for this all the time. People are waiting for that one super extroverted guy to bring everyone together. Most likely you've heard of this YouTuber called Phidias, I think his name is. And he's basically a guy who does little challenges around the world. And he goes around and just will talk to strangers anywhere he is in the video. He'll just say like, they're in Italy. He'll go, yeah, Italy. And everyone's like, what's going on? What's going on? They want to be involved because this guy's interesting and he's not afraid of people telling him or judging him. There's a massive barrier inside your mind that stops you from doing this kind of thing. I want to challenge you to find this kind of life in your own life that's seemingly elusive and difficult to find. There are people out there very few and far between that can captivate a room, an area, a group of people like you've never seen. I've only met like a few people like this in my entire life. It's like watching magic. I don't like magic shows. The words that people can speak in front of you. This is proper magic. This can change your life. This can inspire you to do amazing things. It's gonna give you so much confidence. You gotta learn how to speak clearly and properly. You gotta learn how to use little techniques in language. You gotta cut out stuff like, like, okay? And you gotta cut out stuff like, um, uh, I don't know, maybe. You know, these kind of words that are just like kind of these sayings that just don't captivate people's attention, especially if you want to sell to people. This works with job interviews, selling products to people, all sorts of things, persuading people in business deals, just persuading people to do anything. You've got to talk with a level of clarity, particularly for you extroverts. A lot of you, you're a bit all over the place. Like you have the energy is there, but you can't get the thoughts out of your brain properly. You sound disjointed because you don't have the right lexicon to fucking talk properly, okay? You don't have the right language. You don't want to have a wasted word in your entire speech. If you're doing one of these videos and you want to post it, you don't want a single word wasted. Every single sentence that means something and moves the conversation on. This is the key area of keeping people engaged in what you're talking about. Pull them along through a string. If you let them go and you, you start blabbering, you start waffling, the people are stuck here and they don't know what's going on. They lose that interest. You only hold the interest for about five seconds. As soon as you start messing up and five seconds have passed, it's slowly going down. The attention is decreasing second by second. Every second that I don't speak a word with clarity right now to you, it will go down. You'll start to consider clicking off the video, but you can always pick it back up again. It's not that hard. You just need to become someone who can do it constantly and you need to practice daily. Every day you've got to put some time into this. If you're doing copywriting, you might think that, oh, it's fine. I don't need to talk. Well, the thing is that copywriting is talking. Reading is talking. They're all the same. They're just the same thing. 
but they're in different formats. So I hope that was interesting. The only reason I met that person because I left my bedroom. If not, it never would have happened, you know? It's just it's sad, like I would have missed the moment. I would have missed that certain moment in my life. You gotta start turning the tap on, you know? These moments are available in the world, in the day. You can walk outside and meet people and you can have fascinating conversations that give you ideas that you wouldn't even understand. Share your own story as well. This is, people love to talk about themselves you can go and do this to random strangers you can go and talk about anything to strangers most of the time most people are lovely people honestly most people will have a good heart i really believe that especially after going to many different countries in the last year i truly believe that so many people are just nice people man they're very friendly and kind most people will help you out if you talk to them if they understand you but they're not going to understand you if you can't talk clearly no one's going to understand you you can try and post youtube videos you're not going to get any views like you're not going to grow is the most important thing. You're going to be stuck because people are going to click your video on YouTube. They're going to watch for about 10 seconds and then they're going to click off. It's basically a waste of time. My whole little story there. I hope it inspired you too. I hope it brought something up in your brain. Maybe it wasn't there before. Maybe something you were lacking is now present in your own life. And you can take it. Okay, take, and, take it and run with it, please. Okay, it's there for you to use and go forward with something different and new in your life, you know. You can attack your day when you have inspiration and you feel happy. It's so much easier. It's not all about discipline. You will then find it 10 times easier to push through your day and get the things done. And you will out compete everyone in your area, especially when you get the skills as well. Most people want to scroll. I do it, man. But you got to have a little faith in the Bible that says you got to have a little faith. Have some faith in yourself that you have the ability to do this. You can do it. God's develop yourself and you can really make something big happen especially at the end of this year you've got six months roughly left you can make something happen in the six months fuck you can make something happen in the next week you can sign a deal in the next week bro I'm telling you like you can literally sign a deal one deal is all it takes to quit your job change your life you know thousand dollars a month it's really really possible so I believe in you you may not believe in yourself yet but I believe in you because I know that if you develop yourself to a level and you commit, you will get there, okay? There's no there's no other way about it. If you have some faith in yourself and you push yourself to a level and you bring yourself up to this level every day, and I know it's hard, I know it's fucking hard, but if you bring yourself up to this level every day to have some faith in yourself and push on, bro, you can literally inspire yourself to do crazy things in your life. You would probably never even imagine you can do, okay? You just gotta leave your house, have some faith.